in the next very brief minutes, I'd like to kind of share with you the lessons that I believe would be most important for people to remember. The first one has to do with the question of involvement. One of the most frequent things that happens in a business organization is that a person comes into the boss's office and poses some kind of a question. Now, there can be lots of motivations for doing that. And just kind of help me think about that for a second. What might, what might be some of the motivations that an, a subordinate has when he or she comes into the boss's office to ask a question? Kind of help me out. What might be some of those motivations? Problems. Could be a problem that they really, that they really want an answer to. Other kind of motivations? They want to protect themselves. They want to protect themselves. So if I can get the boss to make this decision and I don't have to make it, then I'm sort of off the hook. Other motivations might be, they, <laughs> they might want to raise, okay. Well, there could be lots of motivations. Maybe the person really does not know the answer to this problem, or they just think it's kind of expected of them that they will go in and ask this question to their boss, that the boss might sort of be involved in the whole process. So whatever the reason, let me just pass on to you what I've learned and what I believe the research would support that most bosses really ought not to do. The temptation that's always present for the boss is to do what? Answer the question. Because that's what managers do. We sort of solve problems, we give people answers to questions, and yet I would submit to you, that's probably the worst thing that the leader can do. And so I, as, as the, the closing to this kind of first lesson, what I would propose that you might want to think about is a phrase that the acronym to which is WDYT, which stands for, and you can all guess, what do you think? Now, let me just think with you for a second about what is so useful about that re reply on the part of the boss rather than simply giving them an answer. What does that do that is so valuable? Has them think for themselves, it creates interaction. And let's face it, one of the things we know about successful implementation of any solution in business is you know, the two, it's a two-part formula. One is, is this a good decision we're about to make? And secondly, if this is a good decision, how committed to, to the implementation of that decision are the people who really have to make it. And if I can have the person who proposes this kind of be the one who is responsible for implementing it, my likelihood of success goes way, way up when this is their recommendation. Okay, the second lesson I'd like to share with you has to do with, as you've been told, we do lots of 360 degree feedback uh, surveys and we collect lots of data and it, it has seemed to me that as you look at the big picture, there's always, for most managers, a missing piece in the puzzle. And the missing piece, as far as I can see, is this. In general, we see managers getting high scores on their character, their integrity. In the main, we see them getting pretty high scores on their drive for getting good results, on their technical competence. Uh, on their ability to kind of work well with other people in general. The one area that consistently gets quite low scores is their propensity to be at all concerned about the development of their people. That is, we know that there's lots of one-on-one -on -one conversations going on, but as you think about those one-on-one -on -one conversations, what's the focus of most of that dialogue? It's the work, it's the project. Are we on time, are we on budget? Are there some big barriers I'm not aware of? And what's missing in that conversation is, so how do you feel about your career? Are you making progress? Do I know what, you're, what you wanna do? How can I help you achieve what you want to achieve in this organization? So this taking time to have some focus on people's careers and their destinations it, it seems like that's missing. And so we see consistently, we see quite low scores on this focus on 
the development of the individual. And the consequence of that, as far as we can see, is that it really does impact the level of engagement, their retention, their productivity, when people think that the boss doesn't really care about them as a person.